You're listening to Fight Jokes About Everything, a Night Shift Radio original. For more information, visit nightshiftradio.com. Hello, everyone. So today we are talking about uh, the Batman rumors. Now, uh, this was a big one. This happened over the last two days. Uh, I know uh, a few other things happened uh, over the over the last two days that have been kind of wild. Um, and we'll talk about those on Friday. But today we're going to talk specifically about Batman. So the huge rumor that exploded uh, just the other day was um, Michael Keaton taking over from Ben Affleck for Batman. So the rumor was, is that after the Flashpoint movie, um, Michael Keaton would then take over uh, as being the primary Batman in the series um, on top of Robert Pattinson. So Robert Pattinson and both Michael Keaton would exist side by side in in film series and we weren't exactly sure what that was going to look like. My opinion, if, that, if this is how it was going to go down, the Michael Keaton Batman would be Robert Pattinson Batman older like maybe those movies exist in the future and they start a future world as opposed to a uh, current world and then somewhere in the middle it's Ben Affleck I don't know it's still kind of shaky but anyways so the rumor started that the idea was is that Michael Keaton was uh, going to take over as Ben Affleck and it was going to be the Batman Beyond so it'd be Batman Beyond uh, based on the comic series and the cartoon series uh, back in the 90s and early 2000s is that um old Batman would basically be um, uh, training a new Batman to take over for him in the future. So this is this is well past the events of Batman, Superman and Justice League. Like we're talking 20, 30 years in the future from that moment. So old Batman is now training a new Batman um, to take over. But the rumor was is that it was going to be Batgirl. So it was Batman instead of Batman Beyond. It would have been Batgirl Beyond, I guess. I don't know. Um, so the Internet was a buzz. The nerd community rejoiced. Joyce and they're like, well, this is crazy. Everybody loves the Michael Keaton Batman. Um, you know, he 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 did the role well. Everybody knows Michael Keaton Batman. I mean, he's probably up there with Adam West. Like everybody knows Adam West Batman, but I feel like Michael Keaton Batman is right up there, uh, you know, on top of it. So so this was the rumor, and this is where the confusing thing happened. Now, to back it up a little bit, we all know, uh, or maybe you don't, but we all know that Flashpoint is coming out. It is the next uh, big DC movie after uh, Wonder Woman 1984, which just debuted a couple weeks ago. Um, so the idea behind Flashpoint is that the Flash um, basically travels through the Speed Force and is able to jump between multi-universes. Uh, you know, um, Crisis on Infinite Earths, for those of you that watched the CW series uh, or have read the comics. So he gets to all these universes, and this is where we see all the different Batmans. Now, the current rumor is that we were, in fact, going to see every Batman. So we're going to see our Michael Keaton, our Val Kilmer, our George Clooney, our Ben Affleck, our Christian Bale, and the whole spiel all those batmans exist in a multiverse so so basically what they've done is instead of redoing batman five different times they're just going to establish that anybody who is batman is now canon and that is how it's going to be um and you know this is nothing new um you know we've seen this in a lot of other things marvel recently did this in into the spider verse um there was the spider verse where we saw the multiple versions of spider-man um you know the peter j parker and the peter parkers and the penny parkers and all that um, but also, this is planned for the MCU as well, the cinematic universe. So we have a Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness is a film that's coming out soon that's going to introduce, uh, introduce multiverses to us. Now, will this be the first Marvel film, like live action film to do it? We don't know. We think that on January 15th, tune in on January 15th for my episode on WandaVision, uh, will deal with the multiverse. So the current rumor is that WandaVision will in fact introduce the multiverse to the MCU and that's where it'll kick off and eventually lead into uh, Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man 3, which will deal with the Spider-Verse. So this is also another rumor where we've learned that pretty much everybody who was ever in a Spider-Man film is now going to be in Spider-Man 3. So we have Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, um, all those people are coming back to play their respective Spider-Mans. So again, Spider-Man 3 basically is uh, is is a go on uh, Into the Spider-Verse live action. And we have uh, Into the Spider-Verse Part 2 um, happening as well. So there's a lot going on on the Marvel end. But let's jump back to the DC end. Now, this is where it gets very complicated. Ben Affleck has, has reported 
uh, ha- has said publicly that he was done playing Batman. And then rumors popped up where he's like, well, not entirely done. And then he was like, no, just kidding. For real, I'm actually done. And then more rumors popped up where basically Ben Affleck was going to be done playing Batman in the cinematic world, but he was actually going to star as Batman in an HBO Max series, Um, which I would be fine with if that's what they're going to do. You know what? Make him be... Uh, make that be the Batman Beyond. Make a live-action Batman Beyond series with Ben Affleck living as, uh, you know, old, old Bat, uh, old Bat Flick uh, down, you know, doing that. Uh, but but the thing is, is the rumor was Michael Keaton uh, was going to take over the mantle of, of Batman for some reason as the results of Flashpoint or whatever it is, as well as Robert Pattinson, who Robert Pattinson is now in The Batman, uh, which is being filmed uh, sometimes. It was filmed and then it got shut down because of COVID and then it started filming again and then it got shut down because of COVID. So who knows? Uh, But anyways, so this is where it gets a little complicated. Now, the complication of this is how do they do this? How do they make it so that you have a Robert Pattinson and a let's say Michael Keaton Batman existing at the exact same time without it becoming, without having to retcon too much. Um, And it was going to be very complicated. Now, the person that reported on this was Brooks Barnes, uh, a New York Times entertainment reporter. And, and, you know, he came back to the internet uh, about a day later and was like, yo, what is going on? No, that is not what I said. Michael Keaton is not taking over for Batman. Michael Keaton was just going to be Batman uh, in the Flashpoint universe. So that's that's where the rumor started and that's where the rumor needed to die. So everybody got very excited for a Batman Beyond, old Michael Keaton uh, training a new Batgirl to become, uh, to take over the mantle and that existing inside the cinematic universe. That is not what is happening with Michael Keaton as of now. So right now that rumor has been squashed. We do know that in fact, Michael Keaton will be joining uh, um, the other Batmans. The rumor is currently that Val Kilmer and George Clooney have both been approached to play their respective Batmans. Um, there, are also, there are also some rumors about um, villains coming back, uh, specifically Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Uh, we know that Tommy Lee Jones was not a big fan of, of playing his character and also he was kind of a jerk to everybody. Um, unfortunately, Unfortunately, Heath Ledger is is dead. Um, Jack Nicholson is almost dead. Um, so we'll see uh, what that looks like um, for uh, for future multiverse uh, madness. I would just would assume they'll bring back random characters like Scarecrow. Um, maybe they'll they'll mix and match with the Suicide Squad. Which, by the way, the Suicide Squad has their new film coming out, uh, directed by James Gunn, very soon as well. How will that tie into the universe? Will that be Ben Affleck Batman? Will that be Robert Pattinson Batman? Will that be part of Flashpoint? Nobody really knows at this point. That's the confusion that we're still having. Now, we know that some characters in the Suicide Squad are still the same, so we know that it's still Margot Robbie um, as uh, Harley Quinn. So who knows at this point? The biggest thing is DC, and I brought this up with my Wonder Woman 1984 review, is that um, the DC does not know what they're doing. It seems like they have so much going on. Flashpoint is the perfect opportunity to fix everything and to kind of combine all the worlds. We've had multiple Batmans. All within the past 15 years, we've had at least three Batmans. So at this point... It's now time to just pick one or pick a timeline, pick a story, and just let it roll. The other way they could do this is kind of do what Marvel is doing. Pick your cinematic universe, pick your film world, live inside that world, and then just push everybody else to series uh, on HBO Max and just be like, hey, no, this is just a cool one-off. This is just a fun series that we're going to do here. Instead of trying to keep remaking movie over movie over movie and hoping that they kind of go together in a cohesive uh, theme, because right now they're not. They're not um, uh, coming together as a cohesive theme. It's very frustrating for viewers. It's very frustrating for comic fans um, and DC fans in general. Um, I know this. I've seen this from my friends that are, are are fans of the series is that they just wish they would stick with one thing and go with it. Um, 
So what do you guys think about Michael Keaton as Batman? Now, in my opinion, Michael Keaton was one of the best Batmans. Um, you know, uh, honestly, Christian Bale did okay. He was a really good Bruce Wayne. You know, his Batman wasn't good until his third Batman series. His Bruce Wayne was great throughout all of them. I thought he was really good. I like that he was tortured. The problem I felt with with uh, Christian Bale Batman is that they rushed through the series too much. Now, I get why they had to kill off... Um, uh, kill off the Joker from the Dark Knight. Obviously, the main actor, Heath Ledger, died. Um, uh, tragedy. Uh, he was amazing. Um, but they killed off every character. They killed Ra's al Ghul right off the bat. They killed uh, the Joker right off the bat. They killed Bane right off the bat. And and, and um, um, uh, all the other uh, al Ghul. Uh, I forgot what her first name is. Um, Talia al Ghul. And so it's just very frustrating because it's just like, they just they wrapped everything up in single packages and left it at that instead of trying to create a universe. Now, um, what will they do in the future? Who knows? But the rumor is now squashed. Michael Keaton will not be taking over the helm uh, of Batman in the uh, Batman D in the DCEU universe, but he will still be Batman in the Flashpoint series. Um, so, what do you think? Who, which Batman should uh, come back and be that? Should we should we dig up the ghost of Adam West and have him carry on the mantle? Yes, I 100% think we should. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Um, so you tell me, let me know, tweet at me at the Michael Fight on Twitter, just Michael Fight on Instagram. Um, and of course, if you want more information, please visit nightshiftradio.com. And thanks for subscribing, everyone. I super appreciate it. And while you're at it, go ahead and leave a rating or review. If your podcast catcher of short does that, um, you know, do that. It's super helpful. iTunes is really weird or Apple is really weird. And that's how they uh, get shows to be seen is by adding these sort of things in there. Um, so I super appreciate it. And of course, share with a friend. Thanks a lot, everyone. And we will see you on Friday.